She's got the poopa scoopa. There she goes. <laughs> okay, well, we just got the video uh, from yesterday all uh, wrapped up here. Just uh, waiting to render it on this fancy little screen here. Oh, there it is. Press go on that and uh, should be done in probably about an hour or so. And then we'll upload it. That'll take about five minutes. And then it will be up and out there in the world for your viewing pleasure. Have you seen it already? It was number 2177. That was yesterday. This is 2178. Welcome. Oh, okay. Let's see what's on the agenda for today. Laundry. Laundry. That's what's on the agenda for today. Coffee. It smells like blueberry pancakes in here. Oh, yep. That's the the candle I picked it's a Christmas candle it's you can't see it through this fancy little thing but it's blueberry pancakes it makes the whole house smell so good I knew I could smell it all the way back there I knew, it was, I knew something was going on over here I was hoping it was actual pancakes but I'll take it the smell is good I guess if I want pancakes I should make them myself right right Josh you want pancakes you make pancakes yourself you're an adult Make some pancakes. That's actually good. I'm gonna make some pancakes. I'm really gonna make some pancakes. Do we got the stuff for it? Hello? <gasps> yes, we do. Oh, what's this? Oh, we got all kinds of pan. What's this? Why are you falling over on me? Stop that. Stop that. Buttermilk pancakes and buttermilk. Add milk and eggs. And this is just add water. Milk and eggs. Which one's better? I'm gonna ask the uh, the boss over there. But hey, this is like a, a classic now, eh? Didn't they take her face off of here? Poor Aunt Jemima. I made such good pancakes. Diesel, I'm making pancakes. Well, we didn't have enough of the batter, but we have a backup plan. We're calling the mother-in-law and we're getting the recipe for her world famous pancakes and we're gonna make them ourselves. They're not world famous and it's not her recipe, it's out of a book, but good try. Well, we're gonna go with the story, they're world famous <laughs> and I'm gonna make them. I'm gonna make them for my wife, right there. Smokes, they can have blueberries in them? Do we have blueberries? Maybe. Then yes, we, they'll maybe have blueberries. Wayner, what do you think? Oh, this is going to be a disaster. Commander? No orders? You do what you want. I am not responsible for the results. Weasel, I'm gonna make pancakes. Are you excited? We got the flour, we got the sugar. How much whiskey goes in pancakes? Six cups. Six cups. I was thinking more along the lines of ten. I'm glad she held me back. Moderation, dear. Moderation. Absolutely. Alright, so I need four teaspoons. Each one of these is a teaspoon. That's a half a teaspoon. That's a teaspoon. Okay. Teaspoon of magic baking powder. The magic stuff. One. Two. Three, four scoops. Ba, uh, uh. Ba, uh, uh. These are gonna be world class pancakes. You ready? You ready to have your socks blown off? Heck yeah. I have no idea what I'm doing. There's the batter. And there's the butter. I've just been informed that the wife also wants some sausage, so the wife will get some sausage. I think that's a great idea, actually, you know? It's 
sausage is a great idea. Do we have sausage? Is it in a bag? Oh, look at this. 10 maple pork sausages. Five for you, five for me. Or four for you, six for me. Whatever works. I gotta thaw these. Uh huh. Uh huh. Very proud of myself. Look at this. How was it? How is it? Wow. Good? Two thumbs. Two thumbs. Yes! Mmm! Just call him Master Chef Josh. Master Chef, exactly. You hear that, Commander? Master. Master Chef. He doesn't seem very impressed. I am. That actually did turn out alright. Got finished all the way through? Yeah. Anybody want a truck? Slightly used. A couple of scratches, you can buff that out. She's a beaut, Clark. Isn't she? Remember those old fashioned bug deflectors? That's a classic right there, GMC. GMC doesn't even make these trucks anymore. And back here they got another one. That's a cab over though. Oh, I'm sure she's good to go. I mean, I'll just gas her up and go. I got her in there pretty tight. <laughs> Look at that, that's the old like leaf spring suspensions. Oh, that would be a rough ride. Wow. I know, right, Diesel? I mean, that guy's got about the size of shop that I wanted. I'm pretty sure you could fit a whole tractor trailer in there. That'd be nice. Come on, Diesel. Oh, <laughs> hey, he's got a young heart. What'd you find, Diesel? <laughs> <laughs> The snow just keeps getting deeper and deeper here. Cause all the, uh, the snow it falls and just sits here, right? The wind doesn't blow it away. So we got probably like almost a foot of snow here. Diesel. Diesel. Hey buddy. <laughs> oh, is this your favorite place? Favorite place in the whole world? Should we build a house here? Should we build a house here? <laughs> oh, it's a house for a weasel. House for everybody. What'd you find? What'd you find? Is there deer poop in there? No. Get him. <laughs> A little slow reaction. He was debating between exploring that spot some more or chasing you. <laughs> He's gone. <laughs> Here he comes. Here he comes. <laughs> he almost ran right into me. Get in here. And he's slowing down. Tired? You need a nap? <laughs> Do you need a weasel nap? Ready to go back now? Follow the tracks. Diesel's paws got a little tired, so we had to put him in the vehicle. 
still think it's the snow that cuts him up, but whenever he runs around for too long, his paws end up cracking and bleeding a little bit. She's ordered some stuff for it already to help him out. We're just waiting on it to be delivered. Some paw and nose balm or lotion of some sorts. Yeah, hopefully that'll help. I mean, have you guys had pets that, you know, every time they go out in the snow or outside in general, their their paws crack open right away? I mean, he's, he's getting bad. old. Yeah, I feel bad for the poor guy. Yeah. So he's resting in the... It's not bad or anything. It's not like it cuts it wide open. It's just... It's a deep crack. It's like a deep crack. Yeah, it bleeds a little bit. I'm hoping that the product helped. I looked up a bunch of reviews and it seems like that'll help it, so... Yeah, so... He's resting. I want to see where the back property line is. Right down there is the property line. So they've already cleared a space, so if we ever wanted to, we could put a fence very easily through here. I like that. We got our neighbor dog back over that way who's outside and very nervous that someone's right on the property line. So it goes way back that way. Yep. Definitely some deer headed that way. Yeah, hey, we were just saying that we hope those neighbors quiet their dog down when we actually live here. I think we said that last time we were here too. Can't yeah. stand it when people just let their dogs bark and bark why dogs and bark. bark. Yeah. Let their owners know someone's there, but. Then quiet your dog down after they bark a few times. Yeah. Some people don't care if their dogs bark. They just let them. So it's a natural thing. They'll stop on their own eventually. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Dog doesn't know where his property line is. I'm going to give that to him. But the people do. Survey? Yeah. <laughs> Gonna have to send that dog a copy of the survey. When we were on this side, you do not bark. <laughs> Sign a little contract with him. <laughs> we step one foot onto your side, then you give her. You bark as much as you want. Right. They had him tied up, so I don't know if he's always tied up or if he's just tied up right now. Looked like he had a pretty long chain on him there. At least he won't be running onto our property chasing our dogs around or, you know, bringing them back to his property for a party. Eh, it is what it is. We'll, we'll make it work. You always got neighbors. We'll build our house far away now. Yeah. Well, you always got neighbors and there's always one that nobody likes. Oh, Just there. try to be the one, try, I mean, try not to be the one that the whole neighborhood doesn't like. Oh yeah, we got another one over there. That neighbor we've met already, and I don't think they leave their dog outside for long. Sounded like he had a couple when we met him. Yesterday. Yeah. I think we're ready to go back. We jetted out to the spot for a little bit for a quick run. Weasel didn't get to come yesterday, so he got to come today. Get his energy out. Yeah, he's ready. <laughs> yep. You Good ready boy. for the rest? You good boy. We had fun, hey? Can I pancake now? No, no pancakes for a week though. All right. Losing our sunlight. Got some good exercise. Got a nice little hike in. Diesel, how's your foot doing, buddy? Everybody's super worried about you, man. Man, you just stay there. Stay there. Just relax your we'll little go, paws, buddy. We'll go home and put some cream on it. Or something. I think they opened up Tim Hortons now because uh, we went inside the other day. It was special. So special. I need to look for change. What are you getting? I want a large London fog with half the amount of sweetness and a plain Timbit for my weasel friend in the back. Sounds like a plan. London fog, eh? Yes. London fog. Is that tea? It is. Earl Grey! Tea! <laughs> no one gets it. Nope. <laughs> Inside thing, guys. Inside thing. Weasel, you getting a Timbit? Weasel! <laughs> Why 
already have your face smushed back there. He's all you stuck. Come here. Come here. There you go. Do you want a Timbit? Mm. You want a treat? Is that a yes? <laughs> Raise your ears super high if it's a yes. There they are. Not too high, they'll fall off. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one. Bedtime. Clean bedding. I know. It was clean anyway. Right, Frank? Diesel? It smells like laundry in here. Got a wiener poking out over there. He'll probably sleep in this corner over there. He'll sleep on his bed over there. Chevy's got his bed there. Actually, you should be on this one because Diesel likes to sleep there because he'll sneak into this spot here right beside me at about 3 to 5 a.m. It's a routine, right?